What I would do is I'd take my little girl to school, my youngest daughter, and then I'd come back and I'd have some time before I would have to go and pick her up again. So, you know, I, I would just come home, get myself a little cup of tea or something, and sit with my guitar or piano, and uh, on, on Alligator, yeah. I was... A uh, cup of coffee, cup of tea as well? Something to... Just knocking right. It was actually a cup of green tea. Yeah. I wanted to feel zen. Yep. I was messing around. <laughs> and I sort of found that. But then I got it kind of going... Someone to come home to. Started just sort of getting the idea. Need someone to come home to. Need someone to come home to. I need a place I can rest. So and you went there naturally straight away. I mean, you just followed it. It's kind of basically the same shape yeah. with these two. And the words, I just need somebody to come home to, I need somebody to come home to, that came to you naturally from the music, it lent itself yeah. to that emotion? Yeah, I knew that in about three hours time, three or four hours time after I started, mm. I would be gonna ring Nancy, who was in New York, and I would, I knew I'd wake her up. Around about 12 o'clock, it was seven o'clock for her. Mm -hmm. So this gave me a motivation to write something, then ring her up, say, morning baby, you wanna hear a song? <laughs> <laughs> you are such a, you are such a player. Smoothie. That's amazing. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Still writing songs for girls, basically, right? That's what it's called. You like to hear a song, honey? <laughs> Still writing songs for chicks.